Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to install WordPress in your cPanel step by step. So I assume that you already have your host and your domain, just like I have here. This is my empty page. So our first step is to download WordPress from their website. So go to this website, I will put link down in the description and click on get WordPress and then click on download WordPress, which I already did. Our next step is to go to our cPanel, which you can do by going on our website and typing slash cPanel. And here you can log in. So here's my cPanel. So our next step is to upload that WordPress. So for that go to file manager, go double click on public HTML and this directory should be empty. So we want to upload it here. So click on upload and select file and now select your downloaded compressed file when it hits 100 percent and when it turns green it's done so now we can close this uh, and here click on home and go, let's go on public html here is our uploaded compressed file we want to right click on it and extract okay close now double click here, go to select all, right click and move. Here just delete WordPress, move files and click on up one level. Here are our files and now we can delete our compressed file, find it and right click on it and delete. You can click skip and confirm. So we uploaded our WordPress. Our next step is database. So click on file manager and here under databases, go on MySQL databases. Our next step is to create database and the username. But before we continue, I would like you to open notepad or word and make something like this because all information, information we type here are important and you want to save it somewhere. Okay. So let's create our new database here. My will be test for this video, but you can call it however you want and click on create database. Now copy this and paste it to your notepad or word file. Okay. Now scroll down. We want to create MySQL user and here's username. And for this video, I will just use name user and password you can type your password or you can go to password generator and copy this password password okay paste it save it <clears throat> click i have copy this password in a safe place and use password okay now click on create user and this is our username you want to copy that and save it okay that's our database username okay go back and scroll down now you want to add user to your database and okay this is our user and this is our database just click add here click on all privileges and click on make changes okay that's it now go back to your page and this is my web page here you can choose your language, but I will use English for this video and click continue. Here, just click let's go. Okay, now you want to put your database name. Okay, just copy it from your notepad or word file or whatever you use. Username, copy, okay, and your password. Those you can leave as it is and click on submit and run the installation. So now our next step is to make our username and password for, for our WordPress login. Okay, so here's our site title. I will put code how for this video and our username. I'll choose code how. Okay, but now we want to save that user. Okay, so my name is code how I'll press it, save it and our password, which you can 
of course change but I will keep this one and put your email but I will put just some test email for this one and click on install WordPress okay so let's log in in our WordPress so click login uh, this is our login uh, to our page and you just want to go and copy your username and copy and paste your password click on remember me and click on login here it is now your website has wordpress on it okay click on visit site and this is it thank you guys for watching and please support me by subscribing it's one second to you but it means a lot to me thank you and see you in the next video